Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly general reading for August 2021. Before I start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. Those of you who've liked, shared and commented, thank you all so much. And for those of you who have been booking private readings with me, Thank you for choosing me to be part of your story and part of your journey. So, Taurus, I have pre-shuffled both decks and so we won't shuffle for too long. So let's start. Tarot and Universe, please tell us what is coming for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for the month of August. Okay. main energy foundation reflection action to be taken and then moving forward okay so, the bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles. All right. So, we're going to find out what this team or who you are teaming up with, okay? So, there's some type of alliance here and something could be public, Okay, something that you are going to achieve is going to become public knowledge, something like that. Or at least you're going to aim for something like that. Okay, so let's find out your energy, the hanged man, your foundation, knight of swords, reflection, knight of wands. Yes, action to take. Four of Pentacles. And moving forward. Four of Wands. Okay, so. Please clarify the Knight of Wands. For Taurus. Okay, one more. Okay. That's the one that's jumping up. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Your foundation. This is interesting, Taurus. Because here it shows that with the Knight of Swords being your main foundation, you are ready to face whatever it is. It could be uh, a mother figure or it could be that your own intuition is telling you to do something. Okay. Whatever you, you are supposed to face, you're no longer afraid. You're no longer afraid to, to face whatever life brings because this one came first and then you've got that one. So I feel the moon. The moon is having a strong effect on, on your life, okay? Especially if your moon is in Taurus. I feel that, yes, um, because this is ruled by the moon. And this is also the moon. And this is also Taurus and Gemini. So I feel here in August, you are going to have the confidence to be able to face anything you need to face. It doesn't matter whether it's legal whether it's emotional, whatever the situation is. But having this moon card here tells me it has something to do with your home life, okay? Or something to do with the people you are closest to, people you have emotional bonds and emotional ties to, okay? And your main energy is the hanged man. 
And of course, we see that the hanged man is also linked to the moon, Pisces, Neptune, yeah? And um, here, you will be looking at things from a different point of view. And I feel your intuition is going to be very, very strong because we've got a strong moon cards here. And whatever has been holding you back in the past, I feel here you are releasing yourself from any self-sabotage. Okay, Taurus, I feel you are releasing yourself from any self-sabotage and you are going to, you know, just go for it. Whatever the it is, you are going to go for it. I feel your life is headed in a different direction and whatever direction your life is headed, you are ready to, you know, to face whatever comes your way with this Knight of Swords here. I feel you are going to have to speak how you feel about certain situations because your the action to take, you know, is the four of pentacles. So whatever you have been holding within you, okay? I feel whatever you've been holding within you, you are going to release it and let it come because, you know, you're going to let it come out. Release yourself from anything I feel has something to do with your home because this has something to do with your home, has something to do with your home. That's how I feel it here. This, you know, that is how I see it. You are going to release yourself from anything that has been some type of um, stagnant in your life. That is how I'm seeing it. Because if the hangman had even turned up, you know, this way, that would have been stagnant as well. But I feel, you know, that's your energy. Just going forward, you are going to, you know, free yourself. Free yourself from anything that has been unhealthy for you. And for some of you, it could be that you'll be feeling a little bit bitter or a little bit of resentment of the way, you know, you feel you have been treated in the past. Because whatever it is, you know, you are no longer afraid. You are no longer afraid. And I feel it has something to do with extended family. And you are going to sort yourself out. Okay? You're going to sort yourself out. And you are going to speak your mind. And you are going to take practical actions that you need to take to make some changes in your life. And I feel whatever you do, um, it will become public knowledge. Okay? And I feel there could be someone helping you to, to make these possible changes. And that person is going to be very, very trustworthy. And they're going to work hand in hand with you to make sure you come up with the pos uh, positive outcome that you are looking for. And the good news is you are not afraid. With the moon card reversed, you are not afraid. And with the knight of swords, you are not afraid. With the queen of cups, you know, you're, you, know, you are listening to your intuition. So that is brilliant. Now, your reflection card is the Knight of Wands. And having the Knight of Wands here tells me that for some of you, you have been thinking about, um, for some of you could be relocating and going to, you know, finding a new home because you've got Jupiter, you've got the Jupiter and Neptune, you've got Jupiter and Neptune, Jupiter and Neptune, and your moving forward card is the um, Eight of so it could be someone, whoever this person is with the three of pentacles could be traveling towards you. Okay. Traveling towards you. So they could be, uh, from afar. Okay. And they'll be traveling towards you and you'll be coming to this conclusion that this is the right person to help you, whether it is to do with business, whether it's to do with your love life, whatever it is. Anything that has become a standstill in your life, one way or the other, you are ready to face it. You are ready to let things go so that you can move forward with your life. And this person coming in for you with this um, three of pentacles, I feel it's a trustworthy person. And it could also be your own energy. But I feel someone is coming in for you, someone who is a foreigner, someone who's a traveler traveling towards you because you've got two traveling cards here. And I feel it is necessary that I mention that. Okay, so whatever you do, however you see your life, Taurus, 
I feel it could also be that as you are moving forward in in August, you'll be, you know, dealing with documentation because there's also a possible of legal documentations here that needs to be done. Maybe in the past you've had problems with it, but now you don't have any problems with these legal situations. And now you are feeling fulfilled. Okay. And now things can be done in a very quick way for you. And you might be able to travel to somewhere else. Okay. I feel it's, it's some type of legal situation and this communication. And I feel you will know what to do. Whatever you used to be afraid of, you know, you, someone is certainly going to help you to get things sorted out. So, yes, um, I feel whatever you do, trust your instincts, trust your intuition, and everything is going to work well for you. And I hope this has been insightful. I will leave the reading here. I will see you next month or you will see me next month.